everyone in this video we will see another type of merge sort algorithm question and you can say that it is the problem okay another type of and this type of problem has asked this question this particular question has asked in isro 2018 isro has asked i am reading for you in the question given two sorted list of size m and n what is the size is given m and and respectively the number of comparisons number of comparisons needed the worst case worst case by the merge sort algorithm will be option has given maximum of m and n option b maximum of n and n option c m plus n minus 1 and option d n into n i am showing you through the examples which one is in the correct answer now two sorted array already has mentioned two sorted array list has given suppose first size is given in the m size another size of given in the n size m and n already is mentioned in the question m and n size then now how many number of comparisons are we needed comparisons that means how many times we are compare suppose i am taking m equal to 3 elements and n equal to also i am taking in the 3 elements you can take any i am taking in the sort examples okay because of the uh, that question and if you don't know the merge sort algorithm then go to the in the that video merge sort algorithm and this that video i have explained already everything through the get questions also okay so now n equal to 3 n equal to 3 i am taking 1 4 5 In this sort examples, I am taking in the array of n size, and in the n size, I am taking the numbers suppose two, ten, twelve. Okay, these two elements. And now, whenever we are comparing it, compare afterwards, we are sorting here. So then, first we will compare. Suppose I am taking in the three loops i, j, and k. K loop, we will store the data which one is in the lesser part, and now. Through the compares, we will store it. Which one is in the lesser part? Now you will see one is less than two. Yes, one is less than two. We are comparing one times. One is less than two. One times we are comparing. And which one is lesser? One. One we have stored. One we have stored whenever. So then i positions will be increased. Whatever part we are storing here, that positions will be increased. And another part will be remain in the same place. Now four will come one afterwards because one we have compare one is lesser so then now here we are comparing in the one compare now i will be that means positions will be in this four four is compared to two four compared to two four less than two no so then which one will increase two and which part we will store it two because two is lesser part now four two two so that. Second times we are comparing it, then we are getting in the second element. Then which one is lesser? Two. And two we are storing here. That is why j will be increased here. J will be increased. Now four is less than ten. Four is less than ten. Yes, yes. That means i part will come here. I part will come here, and then i will be increased in the next position. Next position and j will be remain same. Four and four and ten. We are comparing that. How many times we are comparing? Three times we are comparing, and then we are getting in the third element data, third sorted array data. Now five, because four we have storing, so then five will come. Five is less than ten. Yes, again yes. Whenever yes, so that means five and ten. Which one is lesser? Five. So then five will be stored, and five will be Uh, sorry i will be increase here and no elements is there no element then you have to assume that it is the infinity it is the infinity so then five so that means how many times we have compare four times then we are getting in the four end now infinity and 10 we will compare infinity and 10 infinity less than 10 Infinity less than ten, yes, because infinity means bigger number. Any numbers will come, larger number. We just assume it because of the comparison. Then how we will compare it? That's why. Okay. 
so then infinity less than 10 no that means 10 will come 10 will come that means fifth elements will come yes and then afterwards fifth elements and how many times fifth time now fifth uh, sorry mm, then afterwards will come here infinity less than 12 no then 12 will come how many times six times six times through the infinity but if you will compare through the numbers, I am showing actual merge short algorithm how it works. And if you will compare one by one element, so then one element will be lesser. Suppose how? See, one less than two, one compare will come. Then two less than four, second. Then afterwards four less than ten third element will come then five less than ten fourth element will come fourth element will come till over then now ten and twelve fifth element will come and then sixth element so then how many times we are comparing it five times how many elements are given ten elements are given yes so that is why whenever we are shorting the array so then we are comparing minus one times why whatever an elements is given then we will compare through the minus 1 times. So here is given maximum of m and n. What is the m value I have taken? 3. And n value also I have taken 3. Suppose if you will take 4. If you will take 4. So then what is the maximum value? 3 and 4? 4. m and n. Then 4. 4 times we are comparing it. No. We are not comparing any 4 times. We are comparing n plus n that means 3 plus 4 7 because n elements n elements whenever we are merging these two n elements and then we are comparing so that is why 7 elements minus 1 we are comparing through the examples i have shown already 6 times so then now maximum of n and m same result will come n value is what 4 and m value is what 3 so that means what is the maximum 4 so then 4 times we are comparing it no that is also wrong m plus n what is the m value 3 and n value is 4 3 plus 4 7 7 minus 1 that is 6 6 times we are comparing it yes n into n 3 into 4 that means 12 12 times we are comparing it no so what is the correct answer this one m plus n minus 1 yes so like this question also has given always remember that and whenever we are comparing any data still we have needed still two key elements if two key elements are not given so then we will not compare it suppose seven and six these two numbers are given now question is given you have merged sorry sorted how it will be sort it's already in the decreasing order so now you will be sort in the increasing order sorting is two types increasing order and decreasing order so now seven six decreasing order is given now we will compare to six and 7 we are comparing how many times one time so whenever two key elements has given then we are comparing one times total key elements two comparing it one time so that is why seven key elements is given then we are comparing it six times minus one times 10 elements is given so then nine times we will compare it if 100 elements is given then 99 times we will compare it i hope you understood that questions very well and this question is asked in the isro 2018 thank you